Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a look for all of you glasses wearers. So I came up with this look and shared some tips that I like to use to keep your nose pads or your glasses clean from any makeup. And as you guys can see, so far we are good. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then stick around. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is take a primer that is going to absorb any oil and in this case, this NARS primer addresses pour and shine. So, I'm going to take this and I'm going to focus it on my nose and just wherever I need a little additional support, which I have larger pores here here and I'm just going to take some into the forehead because I have an oily t-zone so really work that in I really want to focus this on the nose not the bridge but just like the sides of the nose because my glasses have nose pads and even if they don't have nose pads your glasses tend to rest in this area the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and a damp beauty blender and I'm going to take this and just place it on the sides of my nose and my cheeks because in my case these glasses that I'm wearing today the only concern I have is the nose pads this is the only frame that I have that doesn't rust on my cheeks but typically my glasses will rust on my cheeks and so because of that, I'm just going to cover this area and we're going to let this powder just sit. The reason for doing this is because we're going to try and prevent some of that creasing. I can't promise you guys that it's going to completely get rid of any creasing, but it will definitely help reduce some of it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes because when you wear glasses, you tend to lose your eyes. So part of the trick to wearing makeup when you're wearing glasses if you want to just kind of do something and have it stand out or for those of you that prefer wearing glasses all the time i would rather wear my contacts than my glasses i find that wearing my glasses all day gives me a headache so i'm a contacts girl but for those of you that wear glasses more often than not and want to still wear makeup you want to prime your eyes the same way that you would if you're not wearing your glasses. But you want to make sure that you have something for that shadow to stick to. For today's look, I am pulling out the Mario palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to take a MAC 224 and I'm going to take the shade Hollywood, which is this shade here. And I'm going to use that to set my primer. And I'm going to warn you guys, I don't have contacts in right now. I am blind as a bat. I'm going to take Isabel, which is this really pretty warm brown. I'm using the same brush, I'm not going to do anything crazy with my makeup today, but I'm just going to add a little bit of definition and I'm going to definitely play up my lashes. So I don't want anything really crazy I just want something natural I don't know why my lips have been so dry lately like they're cracked and it's specifically around my cupid's bow it's almost like I don't know if we had a really cold day I don't feel like we've had any super cold days but they're so chapped I'm gonna actually peel this mirror plastic off so that I can see what I'm doing I'm going to take my Dior Maximizer 3D Primer and I'm going to do two coats of this and then go in with my mascara. Alright guys, so I have applied my primer and I've also taken this Pat McGrath uh, Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Blitz Brown and I've added that to the top lash line and I've also tight lined my waterline. So we're going to dust this powder off and I'm just using a Sephora Pro Fan Brush. I'm going to actually use this for um, 
my foundation, but for now we're just going to dust this powder off. Okay, so what's important is that you do not add several layers of makeup when you're going to wear glasses because the more layers you add the more that's going to come off when you remove your glasses or even like sunglasses so you have to decide do i want light to medium coverage which then would require a really thin layer of a foundation or a tinted moisturizer or do you want full coverage if you are going for full coverage or even like medium to full coverage find something that you can make work for that you do not want to pile on the layers and build that coverage up because again, you're just creating a thickness that will just come off with your glasses. I'm going with the Jouer Full Coverage Foundation. This is the Essential High Coverage and I wear the shade Latte. So I'm gonna just shake this up and I'm going to take one pump. This is what one full pump of this foundation looks like and that's more than enough. I'm using the Sephora Pro Fan Brush and I'm just going to blend this out. This is actually perfect because it's very thin and it has high coverage, but it's super thin, so. I'm gonna go back with that 224 and just kind of blend this eye makeup out a little bit more. One other thing you wanna do is you wanna take your powder and you want to go back with that damp sponge and you want to Go ahead and just press that on in the same areas and this is just going to lock that makeup in place the same way that it would lock and set it that's exactly what we're going to do and just really focus it on the sides of the nose i'm going to do my eyebrows and mascara off camera because i am blind as a bat and as i mentioned i do not have my contacts on so i really need to be able to make sure that my eyebrows are precise which requires me to get this close so I will be back with eyebrows and mascara, but just for the record, I'm going to use Monsieur Big on the top. And on the bottom, I'm using my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. All right, guys, I am back with brows and lashes. Man, does it make a big difference. So if you're not going to, just a little side note, if you're not going to use um, a full coverage foundation, you will want to use... Um, something that's going to conceal any darkness especially if you're somebody that just naturally has very dark under eyes you want to make sure that it's nice and bright under there because naturally your glasses will create a shadow and you just want to make sure that it's covered and concealed now to get this powder off i'm going to take my medium golden mineralized skin finish by mac and i'm using this bare minerals brush that i am loving guys and i'm just dusting this powder off and blending everything making sure that it's nice and set because my lips are really chapped today i'm just going to take this laneige sleeping mask and that's all i'm wearing today geez i'm so dry i can't believe it so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to lightly bronze my skin i'm going to use my bare minerals medium bronzer i really love this bronzer and I'm just going to, not contour, but just lightly place that color down strategically so that it does slim my face out. But the intention is not that. It's just to add some warmth to my complexion. And then also down here, because y'all know my current situation. <laughs> and as you guys can see, like, the eye makeup is just very simple. I'm just kind of noticing things as I'm doing it. I'm going to use this Natasha Denona Duo Glow in Alba. And this is a highlighter and a blush in one, essentially. So I'm just going to take this. And this is all I'll be using today. Alright guys, so I want to just kind of make everything look more natural and not so powdery so i'm going to take my fix plus and i'm just going to apply it to the sides of my face and we're going to let that dry yeah see the center of the face is still matte it's just the outsides of the face that are going to look dewy all right guys so this is the final look You could add liner to the lower lash line if you wanted to, but I just did mascara and I feel like that's more than enough. Now to put on the glasses. 
All right, guys, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Let me know what you think. Um, it's just kind of an easy, quick look for glasses wear. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please be sure to like this video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.